بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم আসসালামু আলাইকুম ডিয়ার ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু ইউ টাওয়ার আপনারা সবাইকে স্বাগত আমি সাকুদ্দিন এন্ড উইথ মি টুডে উই হ্যাভ টু ইয়ং জেন্টলম্যান উইথ আস আসসালামু আলাইকুম ব্রাদার জামিও আসসালামু আলাইকুম এন্ড ব্রাদার নাফিস আসসালামু আলাইকুম তো জামিও ইন্ট্রোডিউস ইউরসেলফ টু আস মাই নেম ইজ জামিও অ্যাজ ইউ সেড আই জাস্ট ফিনিশ মাই সেকেন্ড ইয়ার অ্যাট ইউনিভার্সিটি আই আই স্টাডি কেমিস্ট্রি উইথ ম্যাথস অ্যাট ইউসিও ফ্যান্টাস্টিক ব্রাদার মাহফুজ মাই নেম ইজ মাহফুজ আস ব্রাদার ইসাক কাইন্ডলি ইন্ট্রোডিউস মি আস Um, I'm a final year medical student and um, a senior volunteer at Ali Shara as well. So, my dear brother, ask you about the topic of your uh, awareness of the deaf Muslims. Um, you can see a live. You can call us alive. We are live now, and there's a number there. Please do call in. And after the program is over, I'm going to tell you about your phone number. Today we're talking about uh, awareness of deaf Muslims. It, it's it's a big number in this country near a million people are deaf 45000 people are uh, young people it's a big number but do you think you know you guys working with deaf muslim that's why uh, you'll have more idea than me do you think as a community we are not aware of the deaf muslims honestly speaking um i don't think we are deaf aware uh, we're not deaf aware at all we are somewhat but not enough as in um you would walk down whitechapel like i was walking down whitechapel the other day in fact and um you could see deaf brothers uh, signing to each other and people just looking at them with shock as in what they're doing the fact that they're signing with their hands is really foreign to the community and i think uh, we need to almost introduce deafness again to the community especially in the muslim community as in people don't really know much about it So when we say deaf Muslim, we're talking about somebody who doesn't have any clue what's going on, can't hear nothing, isn't yeah. it? It's more like a blind person. Yeah. Not just somebody uh, to rafunda, to rafunda, not that part. Proper, yeah. from the bone, he doesn't know anything, no yeah. sound. With, with deafness itself, there's different types of deafness as well. We need to understand that. Um, there's hard of hearing, with, which falls under deafness. So that doesn't mean that they can hear my voice as clearly as you're hearing it right now, or the viewers are hearing it right now. but more so it's very muffled where you don't understand what the person is saying so you shouting doesn't really make it any better either because it's still going to be muffled so th- those these people are we consider them as hard of hearing and again but however they're still deaf so it's that's clear so you are working mainly with those kind of people isn't it yeah. mainly are really they don't know what's D- going they don't know yeah too. fantastic um why do you like working with deaf muslims I mean do you find uh, I'm sure it's spir- you know yeah. inspirational because yeah. you get to see a lot of uh, amazing stories from them. Mm-hmm. So tell um, me about yourself. Why do I like it? Um well it's cuz like you said I find it inspirational as well as it's like I like to give back to the community as well. Like you said they might uh, like Mahfouz was talking about awareness and how people are not aware of people uh, when they see a deaf brother or sister sign like lang- doing sign language and being in shock. It's like I like to promote like the hard of brothers and sisters in the community that you should look out for. Um sometimes as well people give too much attention and maybe they don't like it. Like you don't want to be the center of attention. People like wow, look at this guy like he, what is he doing with his hands and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So in that sense like I like to make them feel part of the community. So even if I'm not deaf myself, they get to see that other people are looking out for them. Before you came to Alishara, did yeah. you know about them? Um do you have any I friends? I mean, yeah, we I had a with well i had a, an insight into deaf people through secondary school and college because we look at uh, these type of things because deaf is considered a disability and we were doing a campaign in year 13 i think regarding disability so under that it came uh, when we do research deaf people came under that so we had to give a presentation regarding different type of disabilities and how people should approach it because sometimes there could be like wrong terminology used against them as well so that's the first time i come across mm-hmm. fully like looked into it You know like before I met um uh, Alishara brothers you guys you know I've seen them I'm f- I'm old man so <laughs> imagine um we never talked about it we don't know many people honestly and they're probably going to the schools and this mm. and that we don't know so our community um they know word of the 
person deaf man se yaad le then they mati kal jana then they khawan you can't do nothing with them so how do you teach them quran you know this kind of stuff will come in the second round mm. but mahfuz bhai you've been working with them for a long long time can you tell us how you started you know working with al and where did your uh, um, idea come to just i want to work with them um well it first started when i well, actually when i first started university which was about five six years ago and i started as again i had a few things i like graphic designing and um it was in fact brother zia who approached me and he told me about um ali shara and what ali shara is about and he said look you've got skill set why don't you utilize it and back then i was in two minds about whether i want to take on this role as in help like it's working with charities sometimes you like when you work for something you want to do it with your son even though it's volunteering you want to do it with your son with to the most um the best you can you don't want to do it half heartedly because at the end of the day you're doing it for the sake of Allah so again even before i joined al shara i was thinking can i do this role and alhamdulillah i took i took on the role and i'd probably say it was the best decision of one of my best decisions in my life as in having that opportunity to serve the community and that to a community that's not really heard and prior to that i didn't know about deafness i didn't know much about deafness even as in jamil was saying that in school in year 13 he had this program where they taught him about this he did a campaign etc for us this was all yeah. like it didn't exist when we thought about disability the only things we considered was physical disability so someone who has one limb or can't t- walk or move their arms or can't talk or for instance a mental illness those are the two disabilities we were aware of but when it came to deafness it's like no one really speaks about it and i don't know why that that's the case but it shouldn't be but that is sadly the truth not many people know about deafness but do you think we as a community as a whole not as individually do you think we are neglecting them like there's, there's probably there are few in the house and then do you think they people think you know robusta balana you know like m- yeah. making funny comments about yeah, them definitely. looking down on them definitely i would so i would like agree with that as in it it doesn't just it's not just here even in bangladesh to be honest i remember when i was a kid um there was another child who was another guy who's exactly the same age as me he's deaf in bangladesh he's from my village and people make fun of him because of the way he walks and with, with the way he talks sorry and um this is the same thing here as in when you find a deaf person within a household or in a community people just assume there's no point talking to him he buzanna or he won't understand what we're saying he hasn't got that intel in intellect but he has he has everything it's just the fact that we as individuals are too lazy to actually help that brother we just think someone else would do it but we forget that someone else is us yeah you know jamil is lucky you know when you were young you knew about them yep. and you had feelings for them and you you, you mashallah you you're now you're working on al-shara it's it's amazing to know but there are lots of people lots of people they have no idea about these people uh, uh, you know these people and they don't see i know it's it's, uh, it's wrong of course there is there's a there's something not in them they are like missing things and they always been you know looked down into it you know that person knows when you you know looking un- down into that person knows he's got a dream just like me and you he's got mm-hmm. idea about yeah. just like me and you you know they they're successful as well they're lo- yeah. in a lot of places they are very successful so when they realize that they've been looked into or they've been bullied into How, how how do they react are there any stories you have anything um in that terms uh, i've got no personal stories regarding that but i'd say if i was in their shoes obviously emotionally i would feel upset and i'd be like targeted and i wouldn't like want to join in and socialize so you'd be like left a lot of more lonely and depressed i guess shobai to bai bunera amra alap kortesi apnar je jara khane ke bare phone na ki apnar kono তার সাউন্ড ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ছাড়া কিছু বুঝুন না আপনার দেজ নো সাউন্ড ফর দ্যাট এইগুলো কিন্তু আমাদের সমাজে অনেক আছে এখন অনেক ক্ষেত্রে দেখা যায় আমরা তাদের কিতা করি আপনি ইগনোর করলাম তাদের আইসোলেট করে রাখলাম তাদের বুলি করলাম এই জিনিসগুলো কিন্তু আমাদের সমাজে শোভা পায় না এন্ড আমরা না জানা কারণে তাদের যে স্বপ্নগুলো আছে অনেক তার মধ্যে দাবায় রাখে দিলাম এ কিতা বুঝে এ বেটা মাত্র হয় না কিতা বুঝে ইন দোজ ওয়ার্ডস ইস should be criminalized when mm-hmm. it's sinful very sinful i just thought to kono dush nai as yeah. he is can you imagine tar demo dan khori bole sometime english shobdo gula machi use khora na tar mo afikta khorse lagi torolo obostha 
এটা আমাদের কালচার নয় কালচারগুলো আসলে অন্য অন্য ধর্ম থেকে আইছে আপনার বুঝছি না অন্য ধর্মগুলো মনে করে যে আপনার আপনাদের বালা হন এখন তে আপনার নেক্সট নেক্সট রাউন্ড আপনার কিছু বালা হইব আর নাইলে আপনি যদি বাদ মানুষ তখন তে আপনার নেক্সট টাইম আপনি উন্নত হই আইব আপনি ওটা খুন নেব তখন সো একটা কালচার রে আমরা কিন্তু প্রমোট করি না ও সেম লাইনে বুঝছি না তো এইগুলো আসলে ভেরি ভেরি ডेंजरस এন্ড ড্যামেজিং ক্যান ইউ ইমাজিন মা আফ আফনা তো বাচ্চা লহম হই গেছে এন্ড উই সেইং দোজ থিংস It's crazy. I mean, I'm also like a couple of people. So how do we, you know, as a community, how can we, you know, grow up or build a respect for everybody else, just like uh, equal respect for everyone? What can we do about it? I mean, as I've taken part in volunteering for Ali Shara, that's a good step, I'd say, because they are like a unique charity that look into the heart of hearing and fundraise for them in terms of making Islam accessible for them. Um, I guess... Also nowadays in schools as well they educate like Mahfouj by said he maybe they have in his time but slowly now everyone's like educating about, about disabilities and deaf awareness and just generally like schools are becoming better in promoting the correct way of going around but Mahfouj by here is mashallah this is Europe and mm. they are they do look after the people yeah subhanallah can you imagine the way they look after the people here is unbelievable if you think about it right? you think like a, a, a prince but in bangladesh we have these problems tara kunu mani kunu ek pesa dam din ya mani you been to bangladesh yeah. give us a story about bangladesh it's if you like, know mani it's like um in bangladesh if you're considered disabled just forget just definitely just disabled in general it's like khamna ya tumar bad dilat so side is okay there some people in some households gor thake bar khorin na shorom that the mm. thing shorom the embarrassment Imagine being a child who's got who has a disability like deafness and you're embarrassed to your family for being born the way you are. It's like it's things like that you we don't think about because like alhamdulillah I wouldn't say alhamdulillah but alhamdulillah in my household there's no one who's deaf. But I've like imagine someone was deaf would I would I be more deaf away? Probably yeah. I would be more deaf away. But because it doesn't affect me directly I I had to take steps to become different. I had to handle for this opportunity to be part of Ali Shara because I'm more deaf because of Allah's grace. You know, imagine, you know, especially my, I'm talking about um, uh, back home, yeah. especially um, poor countries, similar type. So, if somebody is deaf, we're not going to be able to say, somebody is deaf wedding time, they will hide that person. Yeah. Going to Kutumbari, they will hide that person. I mean, it's just like he's he doesn't have no value you know imagine me you any of us you know it's it's just heartbreaking you know it's just heartbreaking mm-hmm. that person mm-hmm. knows exactly what's going on exactly and it do stuck into we trying to make it to him says you're the fault one you're the one don't have even if you are an intelligent thing then they will bully him to get that was it to move kunta from this see see yeah. see those words are it's really especially i feel so bad like muslim community we are not aware of those things mm. and this is something we should be proud of for two reasons allah decided how that person should be exactly yeah. yeah that person is much better because he doesn't do any gossip like me and exactly, you yeah. asta din amra khali man sohta matram ja kya 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 bala hota bad hota gibot hota hota shesh that person is a funero na matero is safe subhanallah mm. that person accountability with allah when he dies is very few because he didn't, he didn't say much yeah. mm. and he didn't do much so in those reasons where he is mashallah you know is is got everything is there for them and if we all think we are all human beings and we want to be of equal rights you have the equal respect and everything else this guy plays a big role man they should be in mm. the position of respect definitely well ami faram na bai durite faram ami tomare help ko ami taking you there okay. i can't see i find a lot of people in bangladesh to especially in the uh, uh, silet full i don't know if you've seen them they are all disabled people mm. are there people are using gangs are using them to make But money th- exactly i was going to yeah how they abuse that design of how could people do that honestly i mean I, I, it doesn't work i can't work it out i can't work it out how people using the disabled people to make money is pure greed money? isn't it oh, oh, pure man, greed no. just it's, i want more money Jamie i just it's all about me it's not about <laughs> anyone else <laughs> Jamie Evans you haven't seen it probably but uh, no, I've been going You've Bangladesh seen it, quite yeah. quickly yeah I've seen it it's just not that as well because sometimes the people like you said they take it to advantage but that country Bangladesh is going for poverty as well so I think they lack education 
And so if, mm. if, if the people are educated like more, but, but they don't have the facilities, I guess, in some areas, if they were educated, it would be like, it would be more beneficial in the terms they could like be more deaf aware. What's the number of, uh, I don't know about Bangladesh, but mm. deaf Muslims in the, do you know any idea about Muslims, how many Muslims you work with? Um, I th from what I know, there's about two million Muslims in UK, okay. in general, and one in six of the two million are deaf or hard of hearing. That's a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. But these are people we are not aware of. And these people, some, and this is just people who have um, declared themselves as deaf or hard of hearing. So imagine the number of people that haven't even declared that. Do you think it's increasing? Do you think it's increasing? Yeah, definitely. There has been some studies done where it showed that this number will increase. So it's soon to become 1.5. 1.5, uh, sorry, 1 in 5. 1 in 5. Yeah, so it is increasing. So it's like the one have 6 billion of uh, people. So 1 point, what is it, 5 Nearly 1 billion, billion people in the world, yeah. <laughs> so is that number is going to yeah. death as well? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Funny coming. Okay, so how do we? We only got two minutes for the break, yeah. so we'll come back and talk about the solutions, inshallah. Yeah. Uh, Jami, you're a young man. You know, it, it's it's good to see you are involved with this kind of stuff. Yeah. Honestly, you know, young Thank people, you. they probably it's not my problem. Yeah. I'm finding a way. Mm. Let me find some, uh, enjoy something. You know, like and then. Um, so you ha you moved away and you mashallah to the responsibility to do something. So, where did you get the inspiration from? Has anyone told you to do it, or you um, just found it? The, I've joined, it's been, I'd say, five years now with Ali Shara. It's a long time, yeah. Allah. Yeah, yeah. old man. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I mean, uh, it was introduced to me through internally, like uh, Mahfouj by uh, Zia by introduced me to it. And this was uh, at the end of year 11, so at the end of secondary. And it was introduced to me as a voluntary role. So that was, mo that was one of the first voluntary roles I wanted to take on. So I thought, yeah, why not? It'd be a good way to give back to the community as well as when you're young, I don't have much on my CV, so I thought Humble. this would help me in terms of CV wise as well. And once I got into it, that time I wasn't fully aware in terms of like deaf awareness wise, but taking part in other events and every year, taking part every year, it gave me a better insight into what the organization does. And it's very inspirational going to programs and seeing how the smiles and happiness within the community while at the Fantastic. events. Shall I come good, I'm going to come back to you after the break. Yeah. Dear brothers and sisters, um, we're just going to go for a small break, and shall I stay with us. So if you have anyone in your family deaf, um, please do call in and tell us what kind of, um, not problems, what kind of bullies they get into, or how you're enjoying with them. I'm sure they have fun time as well. And we're going to talk about the solution. Solution means what kind of services are there Ali Shara provides about deaf Muslims. So stay with us, inshallah. I'll see you after the break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.